Hello and welcome back to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, your senior trainer and support here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is creating a bulkhead for a socket. In order to achieve this, we create a profile family first that will then be used as a sweep in the wall creation dialog box. After, we will then carry out a Boolean join operation between the new wall style and the ceiling that will receive said wall. Fine. Finally, although not necessary, we will then attach top to base and base to top in order to finish our bulkhead. Very well, let's begin. Let's by going ahead into File, New, and we'll go to Families. Here, under English Imperial uh, Family Templates, we will go into the Family Templates and look for the Profile Template. For the families right here which is the RFP profile and we'll open that. Once open we know that the intersection between these two reference planes is going to be my insertion point so we'll create our beautiful little rectangle that eventually will become our soffit right here. So we'll go to lines, rectangle tool and we won't care about the size at this point. We know that the size is going to be a one and one half inch by seven eighths inch, considering the width of the uh, particular furring and, or studs and the thickness of the material. So we'll use one and one half inch for the furring area and seven eighths of an inch for the uh, actual sheet rock. So the thickness here is seven eighths and the length is one and a half inches. Let's go ahead and do that by modify, select one of the edges. And this is 1.5 inches. So we change that. Then we switch this top one here. And we say that that is going to be 7 over 8 inches. And uh, let's make, yeah, 7 over 8. We'll leave it like that. It can be changed later, but the point is gotten across about as far as how this is going to be looking in our section. Great. Let's go ahead and save it. It's a bulkhead RFA. If you have to replace it, in this case, I had placed, uh, created a one for test uh, purposes. We're overriding it and we'll now load it into the project. Okay, we've created the uh, profile. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sections now in the project. By going to sections uh, five here and section three here. Okay, double click on the uh, head here to go to the view. And we see that we have a gap here that needs to be uh, actually closed. And the same thing is happening in section five. We need to we close that gap. We do that by going back to the levels. And let's go ahead and then select all of the sites that are going to receive the soffit. We do that by doing this. First of all, we come over here and select wall. We select the soffit that we want. And we go ahead and select pick. We've set up our uh, options here to go to level two. This is correct. Location line is going to be not wall center line. We're going to make that one uh, face wall interior. Okay, we might have to flip it. Once we do that, we come over here and hover over the edge here and tab, 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 all four of them just like that and click. Okay. Once we do that, we need to check the placement of the actual gypsum board. So we do that by going back to our sections. And we see that this is properly aligned with this, with the actual soffit on the, what's really, uh, if we look at the uh, soffit wall design, okay, we will see here that it's actually the finishes on the interior side, okay? And so that's what we're looking at. So we're looking at the placement of the jib is in the correct place in section three. Let's take a look at section five and we see the same. All right, now we are ready for the next step. And the next step is to go ahead and create a duplicate of the gypsum wallboard soffit with stud metal studs. So we can then go ahead and add the sweep that will be the bulkhead. So let's go to edit type here, first thing. Whilst we have selected the soffit wall, we have the section involved, uh, uh, section view invoked here. 
Let's go ahead and duplicate this particular one and then add the name with with oops bulkhead. Okay, we'll say okay to that. Go ahead and zoom in here a little bit so we can see this a little bit better. We'll come over here to the structure, edit type, and we are going to invoke sweeps because we have the sections already defined in the preview. It's easier for us to actually go ahead and, and make these sweeps available. In the sweeps, because we've already preloaded it, and by the way, I took the uh, advantage and, and changed the 7 8 thickness to a 5 8 because a, a, five, a 7 8 I don't believe it will work. So I went ahead and did that. This is now a 5 8 just to make sure. We'll go ahead and say add a sweep. And in here in the profile, we find the bulkhead already loaded. Okay, we'll assign the material, which in this case is the chipboard. So we have then a merging of materials going on. And as far as the offset is concerned, when I hit apply, we see that it's on the outside, but we know that it's going to be a negative 1.5 offset from the ex exterior edge. So we'll say minus 1.5 inches, apply, and that places it exactly the way we want it. So we'll go ahead and say OK to that, and OK again all the way out. Once that's done, all we really need to do is go ahead and see what the walls are going to be looking like. And as we can see here, we've actually already replaced this one, and we see that the bulkhead is exactly where we want it. Let's go ahead and do that to the other side by selecting the wall that we need to select and switching it for the one with the bulkhead, which is the new one. Once this is done, then we come over here and we need to join these two and these two here. And the next step is to join the ceiling with the wall. Let's go ahead and start with the lower ceiling first, and we'll see what happens here. We'll go ahead and select Modify. In Modify, we go to the Geometry, Join, Join Geometry. And we say we're going to join this piece of geometry with this piece of geometry. We'll say Unjoin if OK, OK. And we'll see that it's a little bit on the, on the off side. Okay, and that reason for that is most likely, let's go ahead and undo here, is because this should be a little bit further out. So let's go ahead and move this to the left here a little bit. And let's go ahead and uh, align it with the interior side. So let's go ahead and align to the interior side here. This interior edge can't select it, so we hit the tab, and there it is. Now let's go ahead and do a join between this item and that item and say unjoin and okay and there is the beginning of it okay then we'll go ahead and join these two here so we'll say join this one with this one okay once again there it is okay let's go ahead and do it to the other side we're going to join uh, we saw that we need to align so we need to go modify first switch it to the edge a little bit so we can see edge to edge we need to align these edges so in order to have a proper alignment the face is getting in the way face select so i'm going to remove face select so we can work a little bit easier align to this edge the inner edge of the wall like that now we can go ahead and join and get we'll get our proper results which is join this piece with that piece and sure enough, once we go modify, and we let's select this one here. Oops, this hasn't been joined. So oh, uh, let's go ahead and join it again. Make sure that it does it. And this with this, unjoined, and OK, and there it is. And now let's go ahead and do the second join, which is this one right here. Let's go ahead and do once again a join between this ceiling and this piece right here. Now we're getting what we want, okay? Next step is now to go ahead and make sure that this is going to be as low as that. We have two ways of doing it, okay? We can select this and we can bring this down to that edge right there and lock it if we want to. Or we can also do the following, which is basically just go ahead and select the wall here. Select attach top to base and attach it that way. 
In this case, either way is fine. Okay, just make sure that your details are consistent. We need to actually remember now to do the same steps that we did here to section three. Okay, in which case, once again, we start by shifting it to the side. So we see end to end, align it properly, which is going to be to this edge tab, that edge. Okay, we'll do the same thing to the other side just to save a little time in the process. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and align again to this edge tab to find it. That's the edge. Great, both sides are looking awesome. Let's go ahead and join them now. Let's go ahead and join geometry by joining this geometry with that one exactly how we want. Let's do the same thing here. This geometry with this one. And once again, this one to that one. And this one to that one. I happen to like to actually go ahead and hang some of these walls off of the, the structure above. So let's go ahead and do it this way. Okay, and do the same thing on this side. And with that, we have now finished the small detail that we wanted here, which is basically what we're talking about is creating the bulkhead that will unite this surface with this surface and then continue this way, making a fluent material that would occur in the facing of these studs that are going to be hung off the ceiling. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have achieved the end of this particular little blog of creating bulkheads for soffits. I hope you've enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. Wishing you the best of luck and health. Till the next one, this has been James Cuervo for Digital Drafting Systems. Thank you very much.